वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू बी टाइड एंड दिस इज़ अ वेरी क्विक ट्यूटोरियल ऑन मर्जिंग स्टीम इंटीग्रेशन किट डजेंट मैटर इफ़ यू आर यूजिंग द मार्केट प्लेस वर्जन ऑफ द किट अप वर्जन ऑल द इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ मार्केट प्लेस वर्जन थैंक यू सो द ट्यूटोरियल इज जस्ट मर्जिंग दिस किट विद विद लायरा सो दैट यू कैन यूज बोथ ऑफ दम टूगेदर एंड जस्ट फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन मार्केट प्लेस किट यूज इट्स ओन ऑनलाइन सब सिस्टम एंड इज मच मोर स्टेबल बट the github version is free so you can give it a go if, if you want to do it that way but i just enabled the kit in a ex uh, completely sample project so this project has nothing and you can see the plugin is now enabled now the second thing let me just scroll up and you will see steam is not initialized nothing is done related to steam to be honest you see it's using the null subsystem so the first thing that we need to do is we need to initialize steam so that it uses our steam plugin that is this steam integration kit so what we need to do is we need to go on our website and from the configuration copy the config that is required and in the default engine.ini just scroll down to the bottom and paste the ini file uh, sorry the configuration it just sets the steam sub uh, subsystem as the default and enables it so just checking if anything else is wrong no so everything else looks good you can just save at that point and now you can go into windows and just check if you don't have any other configuration here for some people it would be i usually read the custom folder so there is no overhead now restart the engine Re make sure you restart and then do this now here just make it put it the whatever app id you have but if you don't have any app id just make it 480 480 and it should be initialized so if i search for a steam now after restarting the engine i see steam sdk loaded but because it's set to default i also need to make sure all the steam uh, plugins other than ours is disabled this is only required for the marketplace version if you are using the github version you need to make sure they are enabled because is this marketplace version uses these plugins Oh sorry the github version uses these plugins as a base whereas marketplace version has its own base so make sure the marketplace version has it enabled now also make sure steam is open before you are going to try it out or else you will get a big big crash now i will open it up okay before that let's go to editor preferences under play and in additional launch parameters i added log now we can just quickly go up and see if steam tried to launch yeah in the editor it will fail to launch but yeah at least it tried the sdk was loaded so that means if we play it now in the front end level we should be signed in with our steam account everything steam functionality should work the sessions should use steam as usual you see the overlay came up and we also have this steam thing if i press uh, tap plus shift the overlay will, will also come but i'm not going to press it because this video was recorded before but if you just go a few seconds back you will see that overlay came up on the bottom right but i'm able to create sessions and i'm also you will also be able to join that that is it if you get any issues the discord is always open let us know and we will be more than happy to help you out thank you